Tonight we are remembering a Chattanooga legend. Jim Brewer, owner of the Brewer Media Group, passed away on Thursday from oral cancer. Kayla Strayer spoke with some of his employees who share their favorite memories and the impact he had in their lives. Your brother, your friend, um, one of the, the biggest hearts. Today, Jim Brewer is being remembered on the radio at the company he helped start in Chattanooga. Power 94 radio DJ Eric Foster talks about the time he donated his kidney to his brother and needed a month off work. Eric couldn't believe what his boss told him. How about I just pay you and you go take care of your brother? A man who led by example and treated his employees like family. Jim Fox, that rocks the box. My brother, my friend, may you rest in heaven and we will see you again, man. May God bless you. Nicole Brown helped start the student radio station at UTC. She says she owes it all to Jim, who hired her as an intern at his radio station back in the early 90s. When you met Jim Brewer, you knew you met a good man. Brewer Media Operations Manager Keith Landecker says Jim was a great listener. He managed to each and every person individually. He didn't do a cookie cutter approach. He let you speak your mind. Tributes have been pouring in about Jim and what he meant to so many. He owned several radio stations, including Power 94, ESPN Chattanooga, and Big 95.3. He also owned the Chattanooga Traffic Network and The Pulse. The fantastic guy who loved this community more than anything. He worked hard for many causes close to his heart, including domestic violence awareness, the Kidney Foundation, and the Ronald McDonald House. At home, he loved cooking, entertaining, and making everyone around him feel special. It hurt us that we had to say goodbye to him yesterday, but all of this stuff that is coming is kind of really helping ease the pain a little bit to see how much people really loved him. Reporting in Chattanooga, Kayla Strayer, News Channel 9. Jim Brewer's funeral arrangements begin tonight. A viewing is happening right now at St. Paul's Episcopal Church. Visitation will be tomorrow from 11 a.m. to 1245. The funeral will begin at 1. The House Intelligence Committee has